Hey guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So over the past week, I've been pre-recording a bunch of videos, getting ready for my awesome time off vacation. It's not even a vacation, but I'm getting away a little bit. Anyway, awesome, awesome, awesome. We're, we are doing an operation in Boom Beach. This is the very first time we attempted Tinderbox on this task force, in this task force. No, it's the second time actually. Because we attacked it, okay, it got pushed off, but we attacked it a couple months, no, like a month ago. So, uh, we failed, obviously, but I think we're going to be able to beat it this time. Maybe not, we'll see. Um, I'm just going to show you some attacks. We'll just have a bunch, we'll just have a blast. I know a lot of people have been asking for these low-level attacks. And, oh my gosh, Captain Everspark. Sergeant, yeah, Captain Everspark works so, so well with... Uh, Zuka's AZ when you're trying to clear the base. So, actually, guys, I wasn't, I didn't scout this ahead of time, and you'll kind of see this. Oh my gosh, we could copy the link and we could visit it. Um, I didn't see it like I didn't scout out ahead of time. I should have because I would have saved so much energy. Um, but yeah, I get critters down to distract the rocket launchers, even though my Zuka's are in range. Then I get some stuff down. Anyway. Uh, all this time, Captain Everspark is spawning critters to help me better. So, I was able to clear a major part of his base. I flare down. Luckily, Captain Everspark doesn't die. She actually lives. Uh, even though, yeah, the cannon isn't in range. But she actually deals a fair amount of damage. And let me know if you like these videos, the task force videos on this low-level task force, in this low-level task force. I know a lot of my mini... Uh, rejects to love these videos because I show um, some of their attacks and they don't feel left out But for like m higher level players, it's not that much fun to watch anyway Look at this so captain ever spark when you're clearing a base with AZ look at all these critters ahead of my tr my troops That's your passive ability every couple seconds. She'll spawn. I, I believe is it every four seconds? It might have I don't know how often it is. It looks like there might be like a max critters that can be down at once because she's not spawning anymore. Um, yeah, so as soon as some of them start to die, so it does look like there's maybe a maxed amount of critters that can be down at once. I don't know if your uh, Gumbo ability contributes to that critter count. Uh, that would be another testing video I should make. Um, so yeah, haven't released a testing video yet for the Warriors, but I'm pretty hyped to because... I'm pretty sure you guys will love it. Anyway, Captain Everspark, guys. I was debating if I should bring Bricks, Battle Orders, or Captain Eversparks Critter Swarm. And I decided to bring Eversparks Critter Storm because, well, let's be honest. Uh, that's pr I used her ability to my advantage to uh, spawn critters so I can run it. So the critters, critters will run in front of my Zookas to distract these cannons and whatnot. I probably could have soloed this if I actually scouted ahead of time and known where I had the shock and stuff. But I didn't, so that was uh, kind of a mistake I made. Oh well. Um, but yeah, I get here. I was able to clear. And oh, all this time when I was up here, I was dropping energy down here to clear the rocket launchers. So by the time I got here, all the rocket launchers were cleared. So overall, it was a decent attack. I could have soloed if I planned it out. Now let's get on to Fluffy's attack. Now Fluffy was hopping with me also. Uh, we left the main task force to join the mini to hit this up. And wow, <laughs> hashtag Fluffy is the new Master Blaster. That's we have to start that, guys. Um, so he gets critters way up here just to get some extra energy. It looks like. And this whole battle, I bet those critters are just going to deal work. Um, and yeah, he's just going to forget about them, just kind of helping out. So yeah, let's put it on times two, and let's see what he does here. So, he hasn't dropped anything yet. Critter's still going ham up at the top. Um, this should have been a solo, so it wasn't. So Fluffy, man, come on, you got to step up your game. Um, okay, he's not dropping anything. This gumboat isn't doing any... Okay, you dropped the floor. Whoa. Okay. Zooming out way too fast. Okay. At least he scouted ahead of time and known where he had to... Uh, I think he scouted it ahead of time. Anyway, look at this. So, Zookas are coming up here like this. Where does he fell? I actually haven't seen this attack yet. He was able to take out, like, half the core, I believe. So, I mean, overall, it wasn't an amazing attack, but it was decent for his level. No, he, he uh... 
he let the rocket launchers fire, but he still was able to take down a major part of the HQ, but he let the rocket launchers fire. Come on, Fluffy. Fluff attack. Um, so yeah, I'm only showing the first attacks to this base. I mean, to this operation. And then, yeah, that's gonna be it. So, one thing uh, my low-level members have to do, and every, every level member, if you don't know how to do this, you gotta calculate your damage you can possibly deal when you're doing a shield burn. So, when you're going to hit the core like this is an absolute waste i mean he i don't know if he ran out of energy or not um but you need to calculate how much zookas you'll have at the end and then you need to calculate how much damage they do per second so how much can all your zookas left alive at the end how much damage can they do per second so obviously this guy was way too low level to attempt a shield burn but he was still able to well, he wasn't able to take out that much, but um, yeah, it's a learning experience. A level 32, then we have a level 33. Just a lot of, you know, not wasted attacks, but just not needed attacks. So, I know even people in my main task force that have problems with shield burns. Because we'll have like 15 million HP on the core, and they don't know how to calculate it. So, um, this is another thing. If there's a park opened up, and there is a park here between these two defenses... Um, if there's a park opened up, you normally don't want to take out other buildings. Just get to the snipe of AZ and take it down. So I see what he's doing. He's trying to take down some shields to lower that HP. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but but um, these are lower level members. So I guess it may, may have helped them in the long run to take down those shields. But yeah, I don't know too much about these low level operations because I am not a low level uh like i'm not that active in this task force like i'm trying to run the main task force then we got some other people trying to run the mini task force i'm not very involved in the whole mini task force uh, but yeah that last guy I, I believe that shield taking down the shields may have helped um uh, i don't know if it would have done more damage if he just like hit the core and tried burning it but you know it's all good um we're all in this for a learning experience here so yeah, we'll look at the ranges. So, yep, pretty well. Just sitting on that edge of um, that cannon range. And was able to take down, looks like a big part of this core. He has all his, he has all his Zooka synchronized, so it looks pretty cool. Uh, what's cool is these mini guys, most of them have heroes, which is cool. Because uh, his hero died, by the way. Um, most of most of these guys have heroes, so that's what I love. Uh, that's what I love about the hero update. Everyone has a hero. Anyone watches our hero videos, it's not like HQ23 and only top level players will watch our videos for those. Um, but everyone has a hero, so yeah, that's a good example of a shield burn. Just get on that core and just shield burn it. Um, we got fish coming in here. And we're going to try sharing this while we're waiting for a fish to move up. We'll just copy it to our clipboard. Um, so yeah, fish coming up with hookah. I don't... Was he boosted? I believe he was boosted. What I love about my mini guys is I don't feel like I need to boost for operations. And I'm not boosting for operations. Uh, for my mini at least. And I'm not going to start boosting for operations for a little while now. Um, I don't know what fish was planning. Come on, fish. Hashtag fish fail. We have so many hashtags in the chat, guys. So the mini has this whole thing where they, every time fish fails, they'll just type in the chat. Hashtag fish fail. And I'm trying to start a hashtag in the main task force. Hashtag fluffy is a new master blaster. Or just MB. That's what we call him. Yeah, he's cool, guys. Um, but yeah, he's using hookah. And probably just didn't want to retrain. It's fine, though. There's not much health left on that HQ here. Um, just a nice, solid shield burn. Took down a cannon, which helped because it is a little bigger range. Uh, or snipe park. He's trying to get his Zuka synchronized here. So we look awesome. Taking down that core. Kaboom. Not yet. Kaboom. Kaboom. There we go. Um, so yeah, what was what I was talking about is I don't feel like I need to boost for this account. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So currently I have two power stone chance. I have two reward resource reward to try to get some more resources because I'm having an incredibly hard time getting resources. I cannot 
like attack these level anything over like level 45 i can't attack so resource reward definitely helps i know when i had my main account down this level was like two years ago um two and a half years ago i had like six resource reward statues and if you have a hard time getting resources don't drop in victory points just get more resource reward statues get rid of your green get rid of your ice and just get resource re reward statues that's all you need um power stone also helps guys power stone's chance also helps because it helps you get more power powder and i can definitely tell you guys that is true he actually took down a decent part of that HQ uh, after Fluffy said. So, look how much power powder I have. I have 70 power powder. I haven't boosted once yet. And I'm not planning to. What I'm planning to do is I'm planning to keep getting power powder. Keep getting power powder. Get, like, level 20 boats, landing crafts. And then I'm going to bring this account over to my main task force. I'm going to take my main task force out of the main task force. And then I'm going to build up my power powder stash on my main task force. Because I am losing power powder, which kind of sucks. But I'm, I'm dealing with it. I have 400 left. So I, I still have a little, little ways to go. And I will be fine. That was an amazing hit, by the way. Still got a little ways to go. And I'm hoping by the time I reach, like, 50 power powder, this account will be ready to take my main's place. And this account will kind of be, like, my main... I'll also be pushing on my main task, for my main account, um, but I won't be boosting. And I need to learn Karifa because I can't clear my map without doing a full boost on my warriors. So, uh, yeah, it's like my schedule, my whole school schedule lines up perfectly, perf perfectly with um, like when I boost. So as soon as I get home from school, I boost and... Yeah, BM, come on, man. I expected more from you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just messing around. He is uh, one of our main members, also hopping down here to help out. Anyway, what was I saying? Whoa. <laughs> oh, 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 that's rough. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I've had that happen to me so many times. I don't know if he was trying to drop smoke and land. Or if he was trying to drop his landing crafts on land. But I'll tell you right now, those barrages was a mistake. And he has no troops left. He's just going to get fried. He has no energy either. Because he spent so much on barrages. Um, okay, so yeah. My schedule lines up perfectly for when I boost. So basically, I'll boost, hit my operation attack, gym up a boat of warriors, and clear my map of warriors. And by the time I get my whole map cleared... I'll have, like, my boost will be running out perfectly, and then I will be going to some practice, like, right after that. So, it's cool how it all lines up, and I'll kind of record my videos when I'm boosted. So, pretty much every video I record, because of my schedule, I'm on a full boost. So, I don't know if you guys like that or not. This is all for my main account. I don't know if you guys like that or not, but I think it's pretty cool how I'm always on a full boost every single video and you guys probably see Ben they're like okay well yeah our warriors are pretty easy to use okay what is he okay I see what he's doing um they're, yeah you guys are like okay warriors are pretty easy to use but you're always on a full boost so you kind of need to be on a full boost because I'm sitting at what am I sitting at right now like 1150 medals which is like a hundred medals I, i'm trying to get to the u.s leaderboard guys without any ice but it is tough every single guy up here has ice um what was interesting is one of my guys in my task force found i don't know who it was and it was a while ago but a person just randomly came up at like 47 48 place without any ice statues on the leaderboard so i can't even imagine being up that high without ice like, you need ice if you're going to push. Every single one of these guys has ice. And how do you guys like that new emblem? That has to be the coolest thing ever. I kind of knew it was coming. I saw it in the dev build um, when I had it. But look at that. It's so beautiful. It's like a new reward for top players. It's insane. It's so cute. Not cute. It's just so cool. Um, it's like ultimate goals, but I'll never be able to get up that high. And then we have... Please don't loot. Please, no, no, come back. I'm come back. 
Uh, he ran out of ice, and he renamed his account to R.I.P. Boom Beach, which kind of sucks. Um, I love his videos. He has a YouTube channel. It's Korea Boom Beach. He has like 4,000 subscribers. It's insane. Um, but yeah, here he has... He ran out of power powder, and he put up all ice statues. So he's going to take a while to get off the leaderboard, but eventually he will drop. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for today's video. Just wanted to make an operation video on this low-level account. Show you my Captain Everspark awesome attack. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.